Hey, welcome back to my channel. So this is the second upgrade on the Ghetto PC. I put the Series 3 Rosewell fans here in the, in the front intake 1-2 and exhaust up here where my hotspot was. Then I have a ring fan here and up here we have one of the mid-range <clears throat> fans that don't have the ring or they have just the ring and the, and the blade. These are like full RGB. So anyways, those are all in, and I used, this This comes with a different controller than the other one, as you can see. This one's got fan control. So this is like the Series 3 fans have the better controller. And so you can control the fans. And the blade looks better because it, one, the interior rotates the opposite direction from the exterior LEDs. So that looks really cool, and you can see the difference. That's kind of ho-hum. That one looks better. So, yeah. Pretty great. And now the next upgrade, I was sitting here, and I just couldn't stand, you know, not to see it. It was just running, wasn't running games, you know, all that great. On a, it's got a PCIe Series 2. And so I'm just going to put a new motherboard in it. And I already have RAM on the way, 3600 speeds. So and the motherboard had to have two criteria. I had to support 3600 RAM. And when I put in this fan up here, I put it in too close to that side of the motherboard. So when I was looking for the motherboard, it had to be cheap. And it had to clear that spot back there. Because I got it really close. It sits really tight back there. Um, fan does. So I haven't learned to make sure the motherboard didn't have any... Uh, um, VRM or any electronics up in that section. It just sits over a hair. So I'm hoping that the new uh, the new motherboard will fit in there. And then we'll do all that. And uh, also, <clears throat> the new controller is either SATA or Molex. So I switched this over to SATA and removed the Molex. But after doing this, I decided to yeah, put the other controller in in the new PC because it has a blade and the, the controller over there doesn't have any way to, con to do the blade. I'm sure it's programmed in the controller, but there's no way to access it and it's not in the button presses. So I'm just going to replace number one with number two Rosewell. So one, I'll have to cut off the motherboard access and so I can use the remote. There's like a little tab you just unplug and whatever so I can get this blade effect, at least on the uh, on the new PC. And then I've got the extra fans over here that I pull out of this. I've got three of these. I get them. I got three of these. These are gonna be my exhaust in the, in the new PC. I'm gonna have one, two, and three in the back for a little more bling. <clears throat> and that, that gives me because the fans in the new PC are 1500 RPM and these are 12. So in theory, you should have more coming in than you have going out for positive pressure. So that, that falls in line with the same theory I have in this. These are 18, 18, 18, 218 in, one out. <clears throat> this is a 15 in and a 12 out. It took me a little bit to kind of run the numbers and figure out what I wanted to do, but yeah, that's where we're going to go. So this controller is going to go in, in the new PC, and then uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll cut off the motherboard axis, the button on the motherboard, you know, on the top on the new PC. I'll, I'll disconnect that, and it'll just be run by a remote. Ideally, I should have had this in the new PC for the fan control, but you know, whatever. Might still do that. Nah, forget it. It's in here with those fans, that fan sets. Because these might might not be, the other ones might not be variable. So I'm pretty sure I just got to keep it with this set. So there we are. Yeah, it was kind of a... <laughs> and I did some rewiring on it too. I, I rewired the whole back and, and just really did a nice... You know some wiring on it and i remounted the uh the ssd here on the side so it's not all ghetto and then i put in also a right angle uh sata connector down there 
But the new motherboard is going to have M2. So I'm on the hunt for at least a decent M2, 2280 M2 um, for that motherboard. <clears throat> That'll be for the main OS. And then this one will just be the backup, this little 250. I think it's a 250. That'll be the backup drive from the new PC. And run the main OS off the M2. That's that's what I do nowadays. OS has its has the fastest drive, M2. Anyway, yeah. So the next video you'll see should have a new motherboard in there if it fits, and I hope I don't have to move this out. I will, but it'll just be uglier. But it is the workbench PC, so it just keeps getting better and better. All right. Anyways, well, look forward to the next one and uh, let's see that blade effect one more time because it just looks, you'll see the, uh, the difference. That's the Cadillac fan. See that our LEDs go opposite directions. That's the original ring fan that I have in the new PC. And that's the, like the, the second type fan. And that, those three of those are going to go on the new one, so. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Glad I can share that with you. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm,